So can you explain the difference in outcome between those two extremes, the one who withdraws everything and the one who uh, reinvests everything? You know, what will happen is when you have such high yields, right, the, the, the price, the NAV, the price of the ETF goes down by the amount we distribute. So let's use the example of, uh, let's say, at 100 shares and we distributed a dollar, right? You get a dollar, uh, you get $100 in dividends. It's like, that's great. That felt good. But the stock price dropped, right, by that dollar, right? If we were at 20 bucks and we distributed a dollar, when we go ex-div, you'll get a dollar of cash and the stock goes down to 19. Well, if you don't reinvest, now your market value is, uh, you know, 1900 And If you were at a $20 stock, right, for 2019, you went from 2000 to $1,900 in your, in your stock value. The next yield that you get will be based off of 1900 not based off of 2000 right? Because, you know, you're now look, the market value may go up, but let's just say market value stays flat. You know, in that scenario, the yields you're going to get, it might not be a dollar, right? It might be less, it might be more. So you have the same number of shares. And if our yield goes down, right, you're not going to get the same amount. So one of the things that the reason we talk about reinvesting the dividend is because putting that back in, you get back up to the $2,000 of market value, right? And actually, you'll compound your shares, which we all know the power of compounding, uh, and you'll end up kind of improving the amount of yield you're getting by reinvesting those dividends because you're really making an additional investment back into the portfolio. Whereas if you don't, right, you'll be kind of stuck at that one yield rate. So, you know, look, I think it all depends what people, you know, why they buy the ticker in the first place. If your yep. grow, if your idea is this is kind of a risk, you know, alternative risky asset for me, which I would say Tesla falls into that category, then you probably should be reinvesting the dividends so that you've already known there's risk associated. If you're just going to take the cash out, you have this risk that the ETF drops and drops and drops as we're distributing the yield. Now, the flip side of this is as we're generating that covered call premium, the price of the ETF will go up. So let's say Tesla will happen to be flat for a whole month right? We would tick up 1% a week if we could sell calls for 1% a week, right? We would tick up, 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 and then di and distribute right back down and the NAV would drop to where we started. That's if Tesla was flat. Of course, it is not. But that's in a in vacuum what would happen there. Whereas if you reinvested that amount, yes, the stock would drop, but then your balance would go right back up because you've reinvested it. And then the amount you get paid on the yield next time would be higher, even in a flat market. So, it's it's one of those things that all depends how you're using these. Um, yeah, uh, how, you know what your intention is. We in general, I'm a bigger fan of knowing why I'm invested in Tesla because it's an alternative. Because I'm trying to do something that's not stock or bond related. It makes yep. sense to reinvest. But some people go, oh, I want to use this to pay my mortgage. Okay, right. Just realize the risk you're taking. Back to that question. You do hear these comments sometimes, and I know that you've emphasized in other interviews that you lean more towards reinvesting. So that explains the reason behind that. It's just what you're using it for in your portfolio, right? I mean, that's, mm. that's you know, like if you're like, oh, I want, like, if I, I want some kind of nice income that I can, you know, pay my mortgage on, you're taking a lot of risk with your principal just using Tesla, right? Because you're taking okay. Tesla risk. And you can get the benefit of Tesla going to 400 and your balance would grow and your yields would grow and that would be great. But there is a flip side to that.